Hello guys and welcome back. So now in this video we will allow the opponent to damage our player. Okay, for that go ahead and open up your fighting controller script and on the fighting controller script right after the perform dodge front create a enumerator by the name of play hit damage animation add an integer by the name of take damage okay then at the top you will say yield return new wait for seconds let's wait for 0 0.5 seconds and after that we will play a random hit sound and after that we will decrease the health and after decreasing the health we will play the animation for now we don't have any sound or health so we just gonna leave comment for ourselves right there okay now type animator dot play and we want to play the hit damage animation okay make sure that you name this as same as your animation name in the animator alright so in this method it will be requiring a parameter by the name of take damage and uh, we will pass a value to this take damage from our opponent AI Okay, and that value will be passed right here and if it, that value is for example 3 then 3 will be reduced from the player health okay so it will decrease the player health we will play a sound as well and then play the animation but first of all we will wait for 0 0.5 second before doing this now click on opponent AI right here we can now damage our player so we will say fighting controllers I let me check if it is fighting controller or just fighting controller okay it is just fighting controller so fighting controller dot start coroutine fighting controller I dot play hit damage animation and as you know play hit damage animation needs a take damage so to the take damage we will pass the attack damages value okay and as you know take damages is equals to 5 right here as you can see that's it so now this will damage our player okay just make sure right here that this i is capital as well then get back right here let's play the game let's move closer to the player okay now as you can see whenever the player attacks our player plays the animation like if the player is taking damage as you can see okay as you can see it looks really good now okay if you are using some other attacking animations then this value should be changed right according to that okay with my animation this 0 0.5 hold time is the best as you saw as soon as the opponent attacks okay the uh, opponent hand hits our player it plays the uh, damage animation on our player okay now we can play the animation but now let's go ahead and do the same for our opponent as well okay so we can just copy this whole method from here click on opponent AI let's scroll down and after this create random number paste it right it looks good then come back to fighting controller and right here 
where we say loop through each opponent so now we will loop through each opponent and we will only damage that opponent which is active and which is closer to the player okay so first of all in order to check if the player is closer to the player uh, if the opponent is closer to the player or not for that we will have to create a radius so if we scroll up right here in this create a public float by the name of attack radius okay set it to 2.2 f that's it attack radius all right now right here let's loop through all of the opponent so we will say for each transform opponent in opponents which is this opponents okay we don't have the opponents array so let's create that okay so right down below let's do it right here so public transform name this as opponents that is it now scroll down back again so now when we loop through all of the opponents we will now check if the opponent was in within the attack radius so in order to check it we will say vector 3 dot distance and the distance will be from the opponent dot position till the player position and we will check that if that is less than or equals to the attack radius so if this is the case then we will say opponent dot get component let me click on opponent ai scroll up as just as we did right here okay we're gonna do it on our fighting controller as well because now on the opponent ai we have the player head damage method okay which we pasted so we want to get the opponent ai script from the opponent and on that script we have a method which is of type enumerator so for that we have to type start quarantine then opponent dot get component and we want to get the opponent ai all right and from the opponent ai we want to call the player head damage animation and in the parameter we will pass the attack damages value and as you know that the attack damages is 5 ok so make sure that right here at the end you add a semicolon and that will be it click on eddy now in the opponent we need to drag and drop origin kazama in there like that and that will be it so now if we play the game ok on Jen Kazama, my attack cooldown is set to 3 and attack damage is 5. Alright. As you can see, we can now damage the opponent as well. And the opponent can damage us as well. As you can see. And if you want the opponent to attack fast, then change this to 1 or 2 but I will leave this on 3 for now so now as you know that the, we can damage the opponent and the opponent can damage us so now in the next video we will add some sound effects to this fighting system and also we will add health to our player and also to the opponent as well so with this done see you guys in the next one